the first thing you want to do is Google master config, mind the M in the spelling. Go to the app and just leave it on medium. You can skip right to the downloads. Here's your launch options. You'll want these because they will help with performance. Otherwise, you can go ahead and just download your files. Note that you may want to do a little more complicated stuff as well as here are your install instructions found at this address and it does go on and give you a little more help as well. Assuming you installed everything correctly, you should find at this address that you have this file installed. As for your configuration, you'll want this custom configuration to get nice clean looking with the high FPS. Go to this address here, open up your modules config, create it if you haven't already got it. And these are the settings that I use personally. Otherwise they will be included in the description of the video. For those launch settings, you want to go to your Team Fortress 2, right click, go properties, and straight away you should get to the launch options here. The secret source that really makes this thing work for me is actually my hardware. For example, I've got this here, the 58X 3D. And for those curious, not going to matter as much, not nearly as much, but that's my graphics. As for the, the memory is what's also going to really, really help out. And when I talk about memory, I do not mean the amount of memory you've got. I actually mean the frequency that it's running at and also the timings of your memory. That's what's important, especially if you're on an AMD platform. Oh, in my case, I gain a lot from 240 FPS minimum because I run a 240 hertz monitor. However, same goes if you have a 120 hertz monitor. You'll still benefit from 240, but you want to target at least 120 to match your monitor. Anything above that will still help in a minor way because it will reduce input lag. The other thing you can do is slow-mo footage. And I hope that helps.